Hey everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, So Tell Shave. So we're gonna get into the uh, end of the month of Ginger's Garden. Uh, we have come to an end. Uh, as for the products that uh, were sent over, so um, I actually knocked them out pretty quick. Um, it was an estimate of how many shaves I can get. So she was gonna send so many products out, um, and. Uh, the shave, just this last past shave, the sandalwood, I was going to hold that off until further down the road, but I didn't know if I was going to get this last shave that I'm going to do here today uh, out on time, so uh, that's why I kind of didn't hold back on that one because I wanted to make sure I had enough time because I knew there was some products that were coming. I was told that I had something coming in the mail, and give me a second to make sure. All right. Uh, here's another one. I'm not going to do a separate mail call. This is going to be a mail call and a shave, so without further ado, let's open this here. Um, pretty cool. Some items I didn't know about. Um, so we shall see. Pretty interesting uh, items. Thank you for your support, Irina. Nothing else in here? Okay, let me put this down. Now, the items that were sent here is, um, these are dry lotion bars. Pretty crazy, right? Check this out. Looks like a deodorant, but they're lotion bars, so you just apply it to your face, rub it in, um, yeah, and that's your lotion. And she sent over this one here, Barber's Quartet, which is uh, what I'm going to be using here today. So I might revisit this one if uh, the time permits itself. Um, towards the end of the month, uh, just as a finish. But uh, yeah, so let's get into the shave here. We're gonna be using Barber's Quartet. The after shave of choice I'm gonna be using because it matches pretty well with this is uh, Sterling's Barbershop. Obviously, like I said, the Barber's Quartet Dry Lotion. And this scent does smell pretty close to Sterling's Barbershop but more powdery and less vanilla which i love and i dig so a razor of choice um gonna go with the uh wilkinson sword uh for its seventh use um it felt really good on the last shave i'm um, gonna try in some new razors here if it that doesn't work i'll put it in my 34c just to confirm that the razor is done and if it is i'm gonna throw a um i'm gonna throw a uh, another Wilkinson into um, these other razors that I have here on the side. The other one being the 24C from Parker. That is the open comb. And the other one, um, the other one being the above the tie Calypso open comb. So we shall see. My brush of choice will be none other than my Omega. Parasol Mini. The water is in the way, sorry. Is that right up there now? Yeah. There you go. So let me fill up my mug here with some warm water. I was so impressed on how well that this um, brush worked out last time that I had to use it again. So I just now got out the shower and we are going to get into a shave. <clears throat> now this is her uh, Argan shave cream. I'm guessing, I, wanna, I don't want to say Argan oil because I might be wrong, but just her Argan shave cream. Uh, so pretty, pretty interesting there. Let me pause here. I'm going to get my ball be back. 
All right, so let's see exactly how soft this cream is because I don't remember. Yeah, it is pretty soft. It is definitely a cream. There you go. So we'll just take a nice generous scoop. A little bit more, why not? We've got plenty of uh, plenty of product. No need to be skimping out. So there it is. So depending on how this blade works, like I said, I'll pop it out, switch it over to another razor, and if that doesn't work, so on and so forth. So let's get into this blade now. Yeah, um, if you're just now watching, these Wilkinson sword blades were by far one of the worst blades, one of the few worst blades that I've encountered uh, along my wet shaving journey, and uh, they tore me up pretty bad in the very beginning but it comes to show the technique and experience and you know when your face is finally used to uh, shaving this way you know it adapts to it so that uh, just might be another reason too so there you go so let's see how this does some water here so this is my first time obviously using this this cream since it's a lot of cream I put in there I'm gonna add a lot of water to it So how have you all been? I hope you all are well. I myself am doing fantastic. Just got home about three o'clock in the morning. Forgot what day it is today. Shoot, I'll put it up on the screen if I remember. It's about 10 o'clock, I think. Yeah, it's lathering up nice. Just uh, adding a lot of water to it right now. I've never messed with this base before, so I'm learning along with you guys at this very moment. I don't know how much water it can take. I don't know how picky it is with my water. So we are all learning together. And it's, uh, it's looking pretty peaky. I think we have enough water in there. We shall see. So let's uh, take that for a drive there. Smells freaking awesome. I love how it's got more of a powdery note and less vanilla in it. So 
first pass with the grain. Okay. Right away. That is not the right blade, razor blade combination, I think. Let me put it in the Calypso. And if that doesn't work, I'll put it into the 34 just to confirm. Yeah, quite tinny. Okay. Crazy how razors can be so picky, huh? That's what I like about having so many options. You can verify if the razor is bad or not. Yeah, just as I thought. I'm going to have about three days of growth. I can definitely feel that this blade is starting to go. Hmm, still got clumps of cream in here. What a great, awesome working brush, man. Tell you what. Can't beat it. Just can't. Second pass cross grain.
the razor, razor still feels smooth, but not as smooth. You know, I really, um, I really do owe this to Ken because, to Ken Sirs, because if he never sent this pack of blades over for me to revisit, I would have never known what I know now. Just reinvigorating the leather. If you guys get the opportunity to get this little brush, I highly recommend it. You'll you really love it. You have to get it in the little kit, on the little travel kit. Yeah, this cream feels feels freaking awesome. Very protective, nice and slick. <laughs> Lathers up quick. No problem. Rinses off the braids are just nicely. I picked up a new hobby. Like I mentioned in my Instagram post, I've been dabbling in the fine arts of beer tasting. I've been getting a lot of help from Tony, Tony and Alex DeLeon. I've been getting some help from some of the other guys like Spencer Frankel, a few guys on my Instagram page. Thank you very much if you're watching. I bought myself a nice beer glass kit for dirt cheap. A, a pack, a party pack of six. Different style blade, uh, different style, different style mugs, beer, beer, beer glasses. Excuse me, not mugs, beer glasses. My lather's drying up because I got my fan on, guys. Sorry. Got my fan on and I got, oh, excuse me, I got the fan on and the AC full blast.
off some. See what's left in this little brush. About that. And I still have look at that. Plenty of leather. All right, guys, I'm gonna do my cleanup passes off camera and I'll be back. All right. So, something I haven't done in a while, let's check the resi resi residual slickness. Can't complain, not at all. I haven't done that in a while because there was no need. Gonna get in with the Allen stick now. Did my warm water, cold water rinse, and my kind of passed off camera. Yeah, so the blade did good. Definitely, definitely not as smooth as it was in the beginning. So six seven uses on it not bad let me wait to stop me back all right fantastic ah oh, fantastic scent let's get in with the aftershave Definitely compliments so all right, let's see how this goes on. So it's a little twist on the bottom and I don't know how much to use. Go with that. I think that's pretty neat because if you're worrying about um, if you're worrying about the lotion or your bomb spilling or cracking or what have you. You don't have to worry about that now. So, pretty sweet. Wow, feels really good. Feels nice. That's interesting. Wow. Okay. I am super excited. All right. So, that is my shave, guys. Do not leave yet. There's things I want to catch you up on. So, let me go in and show you what I used here. I used 
uh, Barbara's Quartet, and this is her uh, Argan Shave Cream from Ginger's Garden. There it is there, with the flip top as well, if you choose to uh, use it that way. Our razor of choice were a few, but this is the one we had to go with, the 34T, with the last use on a um, Gillette Wilkinson that's got six shades on it now. This is now the seventh and it is done and going into the blade bank. My aftershave of choice was Barbershop from Sterling Soap Company. Followed it up with the Dry Barber's Quartet Lotion Bar. And my brush of choice was the um, Omega Parasso bore not the little mini fantastic what an awesome awesome shape uh can't complain fantastic so let me pause here and show you something i want to show you all right so since this is the we're at the end gonna go ahead and um catch you guys up on some of my favorite scents starting with my favorite number one and then uh go down go down the list so at my top number one i haven't used the aftershave bomb but i will use this definitely in the future um it's got to be spice screen is my number one so i'll be jumping in and out of frame here and showing you my products as they go along the products you don't see are the ones that did to make the list and uh something that just wasn't 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 my um uh my scent uh, uh if you will and uh but i'll go ahead and jump out and show you guys the remaining next on the list is this here, Octavia Noir. Fantastic, fantastic scent. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so next one will be Sandalwood. I didn't get a chance to use the bar, but I will use this in the future. Don't know what I'm gonna do, go with uh, the last shave, but Sandalwood, definitely one of my favorites. Next runner up would have to be Old Dominion. What a fantastic scent, man. Uh, the tobacco in this thing is freaking awesome. Most of these here have got tobacco in it and some form of tobacco and just the scents that they she sent over, the scents that were picked out from uh, from the whole group there. Oh man, they, they really did themselves. Uh, wow, what an, they did themselves a really good solid. I'm uh, really happy. So this is the next one on the list. All right, so the next one here would have to be um, Enigma. Fantastic scent. Uh, it's got a nice co uh, um, uh, coconut scent to it, a nice sweet coconut. Really, really dig this. Fantastic, fantastic scent. All right, so oddly enough, this here was one of my favorites. It was one of my top ones, but just because it's at the bottom of the list doesn't mean it's not one of my favorites. Uh, definitely, definitely some good scent. Oh man, just I awesome stuff so that is that guys that is everything that made the list there um and i think um no excuse me no one no it hasn't <laughs> this here this also made the list so uh, it would be this here and then date with the camel so fantastic guys that is what uh, I've used here in the last uh, few weeks uh, for this past month. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll try my best to get one more video knocked out for you guys, but I have went through the whole product, the whole shebang, everything that, that was sent over from Irina. So thank you very much, very, very much to Irina. Um, don't know how to pronounce your last name, Marchu. It, forgive me if, if that's wrong uh from ginger's garden uh thank you very much to alex de leon and for uh thank you very much to tony tony or uh, tony paladino um what awesome what an awesome experience uh these guys have been very very helpful along with the uh, arena really do appreciate it so thank you for giving me the opportunity arena thank you for uh uh, thinking of me, Alex, thinking of me, Tony, uh, and thanks for giving me the opportunity again, uh, Irina. Uh, very, very appreciative of that. And uh, if you guys like what you see, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Just to see you later, guys.